dogs are often referred to as man's best friend, so it seems only logical to Singaporeans that dog owners should take the responsibility for their canine's behavior, be it good or bad. It's their dog, uh, so they have the responsibility to like watch out for their dog in whatever they do. Uh. If it's my dog and the one that you know like started to attack the public first, uh, then I'll apologize to the guy. The dog owner should make sure the dogs are trained and then like the public shouldn't provoke the dogs. This is how we handle them, by taking care of them and make sure that he won't attack anywhere. But we train them, they are very friendly. The public also, uh, well, they can play a part to uh, not try not to uh, antagonize the dog, you know, leave the dog alone. Uh, the main thing, the owner is still on the the owner, the owner to be responsible. Last week, an attack on a woman by a large unmuzzled dog got many talking about responsible pet ownership. According to dog behavioral expert Marie Chu, dogs usually attack when they are scared or as a form of self-defense, not because they are aggressive. The two main reasons for dogs to show aggression is number one, fear. So the dog may not be socialized at a young age or given proper training. So they're afraid of humans, human contact or even other dogs. So that's when you come and try to approach them, that they attack you out of self-defense because they're scared of you. Or number two, it could be resource guarding. So basically the dog is just protecting its territory, its people, its toys or resources. And when you invade into the dog space and the dog thinks that you're trying to steal something away from it, is when it attack you out of like self-defense as well. Even though big dogs can potentially cause more damage because of their size, it is a misconception that all large breeds are aggressive. Say, you know, Pit Bull Terrier, Doberman, Rottweiler, Traditionally, and even now, such dogs are bred to be guard dogs, but they could be the gentlest creatures on earth if the owners train and give them proper socialization at a young age. Any dog can be aggressive. They have teeth. They will bite. It could be a small chihuahua. It could be a cute Jack Russell Terrier. As long as they are not being given proper socialization at a young age, they will have the chance to grow up to be aggressive towards humans because they are fearful and they don't know how to react. When a dog is about to attack, there are several telltale signs. You can see that it's very alert. The ears are upright, the tail is rigid, the body is very stiff, and you can see that the heckles, which is the hair on the back of the shoulder, are like standing up, just like how a cat would be when it's scared and ready to attack you. In the next clip, Marie shares tips on how to react to an aggressive dog.